Hello everyone, Asian CB here, bringing you a pickups video. I went to Goodwill in the village, start off with the Goodwill, found a couple of Nintendo 64 titles while I was there. First one I got was 1080 Snowboarding, pretty good shape, paid two bucks for this. I already have it, so if anyone's interested, this is up for trade. Another 64 title I got there was WF Attitude. It's one of the last wrestling games I needed for my collection for the 64, so I'm glad I picked it up. It's also in pretty good shape, just have to remove some marker here. And I got that for two bucks. Got some PlayStation 1 titles. First one I got was NASCAR 99, black label. It's in really nice shape. Got that for a buck. Next game I picked up for PlayStation 1 was Ninja Shadow of Darkness, black label. Game looks really fun, so I look forward to checking it out. Great shape. Complete. That was 250. Got one PlayStation 2 game while I was there. And that was PsyOps the Mindgate Conspiracy. Pretty cool game. I uh, picked this up before, but it turned out to be the PAL version, so now I'm glad to have the American version, and it's in nice shape, complete. That was 250. Last thing I got at Goodwill, was really happy to find this because I've been after it for a little while, just didn't want to pay the price for it. That was iToy camera, and it's boxed, and it's complete. It's in decent shape. There was a little rip here in the back that I taped, but it's got the paperwork and the unit itself. It's in real nice shape, as you can see, and I got that for 450, so not bad to get an iToy for 450. And I already tested it out and everything, and works great, so just happy with that. Not bad. All right, now we'll move on to the village. This past weekend, uh, they had a huge Memorial Day sale. Got a lot of great games at cheap prices. Start off with this big stack of PlayStation One games. First one I got was NBA Shootout 2001 Black Label. Nothing special, but was only 45 cents, so not bad. Next game I got was WCW NWO Thunder, black label. It's in decent shape, just have to clean up some marker, maybe replace the case. Complete. That was 75 cents. Next uh, game I picked up uh, was supposed to be this 102 Dalmatians Puppies to the Rescue, but the disc wasn't in there. There was two other games in it though, Croc Legend of the Gabos and Toy Story 2. And that was 75 cents, so not bad. Next up, I got the Dukes of Hazard Race for Home, black label game, missing a manual. It's got the back insert though, and the disc's nice. That was 75 cents. Next game I picked up was Gunfighter, The Legend of Jesse James. Looks kind of cool. It's a little uh, rail shooter. It's in real nice shape. Complete. That was 75 cents. Next PlayStation 1 game, I got Slots, actual casino slot machines. Really fun game if you like slots, I recommend it. It's pretty fun. Played it for a little while. It's in great shape. Practically looks uh, brand new. And that was 75 cents. Next title I picked up was Spec Ops Ranger Elite. Looks pretty cool. Just gotta replace the front cover. Case otherwise is in nice shape. Disc's really nice as well. That was 75 cents. I got a Fighting Force for PlayStation 1. Manual has a little bit of a white marker on it. I don't know why someone would run it, but they did. Game's uh, pretty fun though. Played a little bit of it. Disc's nice as well. Got that for 75 cents. Next up I got World Scariest Police Chases. Pretty interesting game. I look forward to checking it out. Haven't played it yet, but it looks cool. It's in great shape. Complete. That was 75 cents. Next up I got a copy of Tekken 2 Greatest Hits. It's missing the manual. It's in pretty good shape otherwise. And this is also up for trade because I already have the black label copy for my collection. So if you're interested, let me know. That was 75 cents. Got a copy of a Medal of Honor, Greatest Hits, great shape, complete, 75 cents for that one. I got Freestyle Motocross, McGrath vs. Pastrano. Pretty cool game, I like uh, motorcycle games and uh, X Games type things like that, so it was pretty cool. It's complete, great shape, 75 cents for that one. Next up we got the... Uh, TJ Levin's Ultimate BMX. Looks kind of cool. It's complete. Paid 75 cents for that. Next up we got uh, Wheel of Fortune Greatest Hits. Love Wheel of Fortune, so I look forward to playing this game. This thing's in real nice shape. Not a single scratch on the disc. This thing looks like it's brand new. Got that for 75 cents. Last PlayStation 1 game I got there was Metal Gear Solid. 
Greatest Hits. I already have this black label to complete, so this version is up for trade if you're interested. Case is uh, a little beat up, so I'm going to replace it. But it's got both discs, and it's missing a manual. So if you're interested, let me know. Got that for $1.50. All right, I'll move on to some Xbox tiles I found there. First one I got was Star Wars 2 Battlefront for the Xbox. Great shape. Complete. I already have this game, so this is up for trade if anyone's interested. That was four bucks. Also found a copy of the original Halo Combat Evolve. It's in a pretty decent shape. It's complete. That was four bucks. This is also up for trade. Last Xbox uh, game here we got is uh, Halo 2. Great shape. I already have this as well. So if anyone's interested, this is up for trade as well. Complete. Four bucks. Got a Red Faction 2 for Xbox. Pretty cool. Got the first Red Faction. Now I've got the second Red Faction. I think I have this second one on PS2, but I'm not sure. It's in great shape. Just got to move some uh, stickers. It's complete. Got that for two bucks. And I found one Xbox 360 game while I was there. And I was really happy to get it. It was NBA 2K11. Now I have all the NBA games except for 2K12. So I look forward to playing this one because I love this series. It is complete. Works wonderful. That was five bucks. All right. Found a uh, original Xbox One controller. Didn't have the adapter, but it works fine. Only paid a dollar fifty for that. Found another Game Boy Advance SP. Came in this little case. And the thing that's really nice about this one, though, is it has a backlit screen. It's a graphite one, and you guys can see it's got a really nice bright screen on it. It's from the brightness even brighter, so it's my first uh, Game Boy Advance SP to have a nice bright screen like this, so I really have to get it. And it only cost me four bucks. And it didn't come with a game, I just put one in there to show you guys. So not bad for four bucks. And the last thing I picked up there was a Sega Genesis bundle. Just here in this bag. It is a Model 2. Came with some games. First up was NBA Jam Tournament Edition, up for trade. Disney's Aladdin, loose copy, another one up for trade. Got uh, The Adventures of Batman and Robin, loose. Got the uh, James Buster Douglas Boxing. Copy of Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures. I already have this, so this one's also up for trade. Came with uh, another game here, Super Monaco GP. Of course, you got your RF switch and power cord. One three button controller. The actual unit itself, which is in real nice shape, so that's pretty cool. And the last thing that came in it were two games, they were boxed and complete. Well, no, I think I'll have to fit double check. There's Jurassic Park, pretty good shape, has the hang tab. No, this one's missing a manual. The nice, the cartridge is nice. And the last one in there was a copy of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And this one's also missing a manual, but the cart's really nice. And I got that whole Genesis bundle for uh, $12.50. I had already sold a uh, Genesis recently for uh, 20 bucks. So I'm probably going to sell this Genesis off as well and just keep the games. And then I'll pay for it, which is cool. Alright guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, be on the lookout, I'm going to have a trade video up soon. I've piled up quite a bit of games and I'm looking forward to trading. So be on the lookout for that. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Take care, have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time.